Hi, it's Liz. Today we are going to do some more embroidery on felt. We're going to make these little shapes. Uh, so I have them in different colors, different shapes as well. I'm probably going to trim them even further. It was just kind of a rough trim, but I tried to get them as close to the black, but not hitting the black of the embroidery. I also have some of the tearaway stabilizer, which I haven't removed, but I have circles, I have ovals, I have triangles, rectangles, I also have big squares. So I want to make them in different colors and then I can mix and match. So my intention is to mix and match them so you can have a yellow square and then a red rectangle and then you can have all the different colors. So choosing different colors for this project I do use the bigger hoop. So with this project I am using the Janome Memory Craft 500E. I use the hoop SQ20B and it gets me a square, a rectangle, an oval, a circle and then the triangles are so these sizes are 3.5 millimeters I think and then the triangle sizes I think they're two or two and a half so I could fit two on them uh, but I will show you and I saved the pattern so then I can do them again on other colors so there are other shapes I think there's a hexagon and some other shapes as well so I'll need to do more of them in different colors but that will be a separate hoop so another thought is I could do the bunch of these sizes for the shapes as well and then add them to a different pack so I can definitely get a lot more of this size onto one of those sheets than the uh, 3.5 millimeter ones okay so I wanted to show you the embroidery file is on my memory stick so I go to my basic shapes and I have saved it in here, but it says page one and two. I don't know why it's not saving on the first page, but I go to there. And then these are all individual shapes that I have put together and then uh, have saved the file. So you take them individually and just make sure that you have enough space that goes around it and make sure that you're choosing the right hoop size as well. All right, so it does say that there's 18 colors being used and 25 minutes. I'm doing it all in black. I don't need to do any of the tracing or anything like that. So I actually could let this design just run completely. There are those steps down here, but I don't really need them. So I think it might be this button. It looks like two flowers. Let me double check. Okay, now it made it invisible looking you can kind of still see the outlines there but very very faintly and that just means that it's going to continue and it won't stop any of the colors so as uh, as far as i know that's the same button that i used before so since i am going to be doing it all in one go i have hooped up a piece of felt the tearaway stabilizer and i've added an felt piece at the back so when i do the first shape i just want to make sure that the back piece isn't going to be moving or anything like that so i just kind of watch the very first design but after that i just let it go so it did stop just after the first trace so i'm just going to have a look and see if there's any other buttons I can press. Right, so if you want to make any changes, you just have to press the home button up there and then you go back to grid and it'll take you to that location. So let me find the one that I used last time. So this last time I used this flower one, so I guess it just depends on how many petals are highlighted. So in this one, it shows all the multitude of colors of petals, and then it goes to this solid color. So I'm gonna press that, and then it's gonna sew all layers without stopping to change colors. I'm gonna press okay. And then the screen went white again. All right, so I'm just going to start it now and then it will run without stopping.
So it is done. Lift up the presser foot. All right, so it is all complete. And you can see on the back, just some loose threads, but it did it really nice onto the felt and looks really good. So I'm gonna go cut these out. I was just cutting closer some of the shapes to the border uh, just to try to clean it up as the machine was running. So yeah, it'll be nice to have multiple colors in different shapes. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye.